All right, so I know this is a little bit late, but today we are finally gonna be showcasing the newly Extremes Awakened STR Namek Goku at Rainbow Status on the global side of the game. Now, one thing that I've never noticed is that this Super Saiyan Goku happens to have one of the best sticker effects in the entire game. I mean, maybe not the best. I think that title still belongs to either Fizz Final Form Cooler or STR Omega Shenron, maybe Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, something like that. But at the very least, it's top five. It's top five. There's just something about this effect that is super, super clean. Anyways, with that said, here's a quick look at the team. We are running a powerful comeback team led by the new LR Bird Coup. So we got the double LR Bird Coups along with the EZA Namek Goku, the STR Ultimate Gohan, LR Master Roshi, uh, AGL Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, and finally the Tech Gohan slash Ultimate Gohan. And on this first rotation, we have the Namek Goku linked up with the Ultimate Gohan, starting with 293,000 defense, which is pretty solid it's pretty solid so let's give this guy some orbs and uh, see what kind of damage he can put out before the super saiyan transformation so here we go we're gonna take a couple of hits here build up some attack and defense on the passive and oh my god close to eight mil on turn one okay okay so <laughs> I gotta be honest, this past weekend, this past couple of days have been very busy, right? So I haven't really had a chance to test him for myself, um, you know, off camera. And this is really the first time I'm getting to use him properly. And uh, I didn't realize he was putting up numbers like that. So, damn, okay, okay. Yeah, that first turn surprised me. Um, I was expecting somewhere in the range of like five to six mil honestly and when I saw the details on paper at first for those of you that were there on the Dokkan Now stream um, I wasn't like that impressed by his details you know like just looking at the passive I was like it feels kind of lazy it feels like they didn't really put too much thought into it I don't think it's gonna be that good uh, it's pretty good <laughs> He's pretty good. Now we are gonna lose the support for Master Roshi, but we do get the additional, I think 59% attack and defense from taking the two hits. So let's see. Oh my god, we're at 421k. 421k defense now. That is crazy. And yo, what's even crazier is I forgot to give this guy skill orbs. <laughs> he has a level two additional from literally I don't know when I first pulled him and I never gave him any defense skill orbs, any attack skill orbs. He definitely deserves it because imagine if he had a level 5 attack skill orb or level 5 defense. His defense would be like 500k right now or his attack would have been over 8 mil easy, right? And uh, his links are maxed out. They're close though. They're close. But uh, oh and his hidden potential too. It's all messed up. I need to give him more additional because he has a lot of crit right now which Kind of made sense before the EZA, but now with the EZA, definitely I feel like additionals make more sense. So, this guy is far from optimized, that's for sure. But, uh, he's doing some crazy stuff, man. He, he's, he's, he's doing some crazy stuff. Okay, so let's uh, let Ultimate Gohan attack first, because we do get, I think, one additional link. Actually, we get all the links. We get all the links when linked up with the Tech Bird Coup. So we'll leave the Namek Goku in the middle, and with all his links active, even if we're missing support, he should be doing- Oh damn it, okay. I wasn't expecting that, that's my bad. <laughs> that's my bad, I, uh, I thought Gohan would like, get him down, you know, close to death, but I didn't think it was gonna kill him, so that's my bad. My mistake, should've known better, but... Damn, 7.9 mil. So we're gonna try to get through this turn as quickly as possible so that we can get back to the 
Namek Goku and let him go off a little bit more. Obviously, the reason I brought the Roshi is because he gives Turtle School K plus 3, attack and defense plus 40%, and the Gokus on this team are, of course, in Turtle School, right? So he is probably the best support, at least for the Gokus in Powerful Comeback. Powerful Comeback, unfortunately, does not have a lot of good supports. Um, but as a whole, it's a really good category, if not a little bit limited, right? If you look at like the number of TURs and LRs in the category, it's not too many options, but the ones that you do have are quite good. The ones that you do get to choose from are really, really solid. Okay, so here we go. Let's, uh, yeah, this time we're not going to make the same mistake. We're going to put Goku in that first slot, 411k defense. Very, very nice. He should be able to tank a super here with no issues whatsoever. If we happen to get supered, maybe not. And we're looking at 6.9 mil. 6.9 mil. Now, a big issue with this team that I'm realizing now is that it's very, very tanky. So, we might not actually be able to get to the Super Saiyan transformation. Because <laughs> we need to be below 77% HP. So, we kind of have to purposely take damage. Oh my god, okay. Yo, Ultimate Gohan's going off too. So, we have to purposely take damage here, essentially. Um, to get down to a proper you know HP level to get the transformation so hopefully we can do that on this turn um, I don't know I kind of doubt it I kind of doubt it this dissertation is pretty it's pretty tough with the double bird coup you guys know what bird coup does and then even though my AGL SSB Vegeta isn't really built up uh, he still has type advantage he still gets a ton of defense on his super attack. So... I don't know how this is going to go, guys. So we're taking a super here. Please do like 100k at least. The one time I don't want my guys to tank, man. The one time I don't want my guys to tank, they go off like this. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Um... What if we put Master Roshi in the first slot? Those normals should should do some some crazy stuff to him. Yo, we are almost at 500k defense, by the way. Almost at 500k defense. Okay, okay, this is good. That's good. Yep, 7.9 mil attack once again. So we're just under 8 mil, it looks like, for the base Goku. There's an additional Super 8.3 mil. We need to get Super Saiyan Goku though. We need to get Super Saiyan Goku in this showcase. There's no question about that. No question about that. So I'm actually going to... Uh, Man, are we gonna die is the question if we leave the tech... Um, attack ultimate Gohan or rather just Gohan I guess in the first slot it's worth the risk it's worth the risk I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave him there no items let's see let's see what happens here <laughs> yeah he's still taking pretty well um, a super should do the trick so if he supers us then that would be great Please super us. Yo, don't double super, man. I don't need you to build defense twice. Not on not on this not on this video, man. Not on this video. Come on. Come on. Super us. Super me. Super me. Please. Damn it. Come on, man. It's not. <sighs> okay. Okay, come on. Come on. You got this. Goku. Super. Okay, Super Vegeta. Vegeta. Take, take damage, please. Take damage. Uh, okay, lots of attacks. That's fine. Here it comes. Yo, I'm actually so annoyed right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This is actually really annoying. Uh... 
Oh no, I got... I gave same type orbs too. That was not my intention. Okay, so it looks like there's a chance we might actually not be able to get the Super Saiyan Goku transformation in this video. Um, which is just really unfortunate, you know? It's still, it's still a really good look at the base Namek Goku and what he can do. But this video would just feel like very incomplete. I mean, if we don't get the Super I mean, it just doesn't feel like a proper showcase. It just wouldn't feel like a proper showcase if you don't get like all the forms of the unit, right? So, uh, this shouldn't do much, I don't think. Oh, 78k. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's not bad. Okay. Um,. Yeah, why don't we leave Ultimate Gohan in the first slot? I'm gonna try to actually not kill the Super Saiyan 4 Goku if I can, just so we get more turns with the Super Saiyan Goku once we get the transformation. Yeah, okay. Uh, yo, these guys are so tanky. What what was I thinking bringing this team is the question, man. What was I thinking bringing this team? That was dumb. I should have brought a I should have brought a weaker team just so we can lose some more HP. Like this team is way too tanky. Like everyone on this team can tank, which is usually a good thing, but not right now. <laughs> not right now. But this team is fun. This team it, it is a blast to run. It's just making it very hard to to do a proper showcase right now. Okay, I think we are below the threshold though, which is awesome. We should get the transformation. And that is one of my favorite animations in the game as well, um, with the, the Goku. There we go, there we go, okay, here we go. Finally, fine, about damn time, man. About, about damn time. Okay, here we go, let me see. Um, yeah, we got five links with the Bird Coup, 237,000 defense, but we do have a medium chance to guard. And then guaranteed guard after guarding for four turns. Or rather, wait, hold on. That didn't make any sense. After you guard, you get guaranteed guard for four turns after that. And a medium chance, or rather a high chance to crit. And uh, what else do we have? Of course, stacking defense on the super attack. Uh, an additional 59% attack for the rest of the battle after receiving an attack. So... Uh, unfortunately, we're not taking an attack or taking a hit right now, so his attack stat might not be nearly as impressive as it could be. But the next time, the next time that uh, we come back around, we'll have the additional 59% attack boost. Okay, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Nice token attack. We're looking at 4.4 mil attack stat, I believe. Yes, 4.4. And like I said, guys, don't don't judge him too harshly yet, because he will be getting a lot more attack after we get hit once for the rest of the fight. <laughs> so there's the Logan attack. We do kill the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And now we can, I guess, not purposely take damage. Now we actually have to be a little bit, um, I guess, safe. Or play a little bit safe with some of these guys. Uh, let me think. Let me think. So I'm gonna put the tech ultimate Gohan in the last slot. Yeah, and then we should be fine. I'm a little bit concerned about Master Roshi, to be completely honest. He can't dodge anymore. And his defense, while decent, is not amazing. So hopefully we don't take a super. Well, that's just how it goes, isn't it? That's just how it goes. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I can take it. I can take it. Everybody else on this team uh, will be just fine. So it's really just the Roshi that we're concerned about. Everybody else is going to take double digits. And by everybody else, I mean the Gohans, of course. And uh, all I really care about is getting two my Goku next turn so yeah there we go I actually love this Gohan combo the ultimate Gohan with the tech Gohan really really fun rotation to run they don't hit the hardest but 
the, the, the tanking is incredible. All right, here we go. Finally get a proper Super Saiyan Goku turn. We also have the active skill available, which obviously I don't really care to use right now. Um, I'm gonna put the STR Goku there. We're up to 308k defense, which is very nice. And we have the additional 59% attack as well. Okay, I guess we'll give, we don't really have a choice but to give 18k supers to both the Gokus. Okay, taking 57, 69, seven mil attack, no supports, which is definitely higher than the uh, the base Goku, you know? And as expected, tanking normal attacks extremely well. Not gonna take much damage here. But I don't think we got guard. We didn't get guard. So the, the only complaint I really have about this unit, the main complaint I have at least is that it's still only a medium chance to guard. He does get guaranteed guard after the card activates for the first time, right? For four turns, but getting that first guard sometimes can be can be tricky, can be tough. Because medium chance is only thirty percent, right? They could have made it high chance. That's just that's just my opinion, but I feel like I'm nitpicking at this point because he is really impressive, man. He uh, he surprised me. He surprised me, I gotta be honest, he really did. Um, I kind of want to get us killed here. I kind of want to get us killed here, just for the revival skill, because I haven't seen it in forever. So why don't we go ahead and not aid him here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just give like a few orbs to these guys, because I don't really care to get the supers off. I'd rather give the supers to the Goku, right, and the, uh, well, mainly Goku. We're showcasing him here, so mainly the Goku. Here we go. We're gonna die. Perfect. Perfect. Let's see it. Let's see it. <laughs> yeah, this Master Roshi revival skill might be the rarest animation in the game. At least for me, because I just never run a team that has the requirements to 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 see it right to activate it although that's not fair that's not fair the agl the agl lr gohan transformation skill right that animation that active skill is is the rarest i take it back that is by far the rarest animation in the entire game okay so we're up to 379,000 defense um I'm gonna take all the tech orbs away from Birdku just so he doesn't get a full 24k super. <laughs> and uh, looks like we have to super with the ultimate Gohan, so we'll give him super as well. Yep, good tanking. 7 mil attack. Let's see us take a super maybe. Okay, yep, 84, 53, 22. Okay, so we're not taking a super. On the bright side, this was easily a no item run, which I don't think anybody's really surprised by, but you know, it's still like pretty nice where you can no item, safely no item, uh, GT Legendary Goku event, because it's still one of the harder events of the game. Obviously, it doesn't compare to some of the red zone stages or Cell Max, obviously, but. Uh, you know, it's, it's still pretty tough. It's still pretty tough. So, I don't think there's a way for us to actually get out of this turn without killing the Goku. So, I mean, we'll try. We'll, we'll see. But I think that might be the last we've seen of the um, of the Namek Goku. So, if that's it, if that's going to be the showcase, then I'll give you guys my final thoughts. He impressed me. He, he really impressed me. I didn't see the attack stat coming. I didn't see... I mean, I knew the defense was going to be good, but the defense was even better than I was expecting. Um, and, you know, he could have been even more impressive in this video if I had given him proper skill orbs, right? So keep that in mind as well before you, you know, judge this unit for, I don't know, not being good enough. Uh, a lot of people have been calling him mid. I don't think he's mid. I think he's actually really good. 
Um, he's not the best EZA I've seen, but definitely, definitely very impressive, guys. Definitely very, very impressive. So, there is your STR Namek Goku Extreme Z Awakening Showcase. Uh, oh, <laughs> way better than I was expecting, guys. Way better than I thought he was going to be. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, they did good. They did good. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about him. He deserves much better skill orbs. I'm definitely going to show him that respect. Uh, one thing that I realized is we never got the rage mode, did we? I guess it doesn't really matter. The only thing that we missed out on really is some uh, different animations for this guy. Uh, that would have been nice to see, but as far as like output goes, like damage output and everything, I don't think like he was gonna do that much, like anything too crazy. And falling below 50% HP, at least with the team that we brought, would have been really hard to do. So <laughs> it was hard enough to get the Super Saiyan transformation. There was no way we were getting the rage mode. So that's just what it is, man. That's just how it goes. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love this sticker effect, man. I think this might be my favorite art in the game right now. I keep telling people it's STR Blue Gogeta, the LR. But this guy, I mean, it's close. I gotta think about it, but it's, it's close. It is. Okay, that's all I gotta say. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video. Signing out.